Frankenstein, an alternative ending. Mary Shelley's Byronic Hero, a grade 11 English assignment. Byronic Hero Definition The Byronic Hero is a variant of the Romantic Hero, with greater emphasis on psychological and emotional complexity, such as stronger moods, impulsiveness, darker humor, morbidity, and so on. And if you're a brown boy reading this, no, you're not a Byronic Hero. Stop giving her grief and just text her back. Victor, my fading brother, are you okay? <coughs> Alas, brother. No, no, my brother, please, please rest. <coughs> Walter. <coughs> the doctor says I have but... <coughs> but three weeks to live. Victor, listen to me carefully. My men found some blueprints from the Ar Arctic caverns. They suspect it might be some sort of uh, machine. Brother, I have an idea. <coughs> we build this this machine, and I go back in time to prevent myself from ever making that wretch. Is it ready? It should be. Alas, my brother Walton, there's something I have to tell you. I lied to you. Remember when I told you I had killed the female monster? Well, truth is, I didn't. But Victor, what do you mean? I succumbed to the monster's demands. I created the perfect female for him. Yet, they still went and murdered lots of people, including Elizabeth. For the past few months, I've been chasing not only one, but two monsters. What does this mean, Victor? What do you plan to do? I don't know the outcome of this journey, and I know I'm asking a lot of you, but will you accompany me? Okay, I'll do it. All right, Walter, this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna get inside here, and it'll take us back to the moment after I first created the monster, before I ran away from it. All right, listen carefully. You might actually want to pause this part. Victor and Walton go back in time to witness the Victor of the past running away after seeing his abomination. After killing the monster, Walton and the time machine disappears. Without any monster chasing Victor, Victor would have never met Walton, and so he never got the blueprints of the time machine either. Victor goes mad and throws himself at the electric equipment that made the monster, thus both killing himself and bringing him back to life as a new monster. The Victor of the past returns and marvels at his creation, which he does not realize is nothing other than an undead Victor of the future. This new monster remembers nothing, and the story of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein repeats itself. It's beautiful because this alternative ending takes the recurring theme in the book that the monster was just a dark reflection of Victor himself, and it makes it very literally Victor himself from the future. This is known as a time loop paradox, and why Victor should have honestly just called the Avengers.